Some of the best people in my life and in my world are people that have been through some junk and didn't quit. How many of y'all here have been through some junk in your life? There's some stuff happened to you and you're like, man, there's some stuff that went out in my life and it was not easy. Right, so y'all say y'all take pride in your defense and that's why you're such good defenders. But you gotta make sure you stay focused and play within the game. because you care about the people around you because the decisions you make impact everybody, not just you. Once that y'all came out there like y'all knew that the team across from y'all was not better. We came out with a different swag, a different energy. And it's that time in the season where we need to be coming out with that energy and that swag every single day. It's no reason to be coming out with anything less than full confidence. It's got energy. It's got confidence. Bitch, y'all should be talking. Y'all should be forward. Y'all should be talking. thinking about that right now. How about tomorrow? How about tomorrow? Will you be happy with what you did? Um, your expectations never change. You know, we hold our expectations really high. The kids are held to a very high standard. Um, they work extremely hard. And um, I think that what we want to do is we want to pay tribute to those guys. We respect and we study our history. We often talk about past players, past successes in the program. But then we encourage these kids to each be their own person and to build their own identity. And it's kind of a new era in Webster basketball with new coaching staff, with a lot of new players. And as a result of that, we're just encouraging them that, hey, the play style may not look the same. Hey, you know, game day prep, it may not look exactly the same, but that's okay. And um, they don't have to be those players, just like I don't have to be Coach Bowman. We can all have our own identity. Uh, it's been cool. Having a relationship, coach, having a relationship with coaches is important to me. Uh, the game is, his style is a lot different than Coach Bowman's. So, yeah, that's different, but me and him have always had a great bond. there go hard but have fun because you only get four years of playing high school basketball and then it's over with so you don't want to just stretch 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 you want to have fun playing with your teammates Hey, winning just helping my team out no matter what I can do, any, any way possible, points, rebounds, assists, steals, defense, whatever I can do. I really like Trey, you know, I grew up around him, so you know, we got good chemistry. Jeremy, that's my guy, you know, he can dunk the ball, shoot, knock down the shooter. Derek too, he can shoot the ball, he can also dunk too, you know. I just, I just like all my teammates, all of them. Yeah, they're pushing me, they're making me become great, and they're making the team better. They're working with not just a good player, they're working with the like the players that need help and helping them too.
taking pride in defense, coming in every day, working hard, giving 110% on and off the court. Derek Marlowe, he's a 6'3 senior. Um, he's a really, really, really good athlete. We think he's a gifted player. He's going to help us a ton. He gets after it on the glass, a uh, high intensity player. I mean, I don't know that I've ever had a player that has practiced as hard as him in my whole coaching career. Jeremy James is another senior. He's kind of a newcomer this year. Jeremy can really shoot the ball. He also helps us on the boards. He's about 6'4", so he gives us some more size. And um, so that's really been kind of a welcome addition as well. Trey is, that's our senior leader. You know, Trey has an infectious energy about him. He's allowed me to coach him. That can be tough as a senior to allow a new coach to come in and coach you. He's allowed me to coach him. He's allowed himself to be held to the new expectations and the new standards. And he has really grown into a leader for us. One, three, one, two, three. Hey, come to practice, walk through, locked in, ready to go tomorrow. When we get knocked down, we get back up and we're ready to fight more than ever. And I feel like we come back harder than ever and I feel like the practices keep getting better. And I feel like the game plans and the preparation just keeps getting better and keeps getting better. And so I think the results are gonna come and we've been talking about that a lot last couple weeks. And so, um, you know, tonight is a stepping stone. Tonight's a stepping stone. Tonight is, we gotta go out here and we've got to make a statement versus hair. What's our most important thing today? We're here. We gotta be here. We gotta be here. We, we gotta beat them. Guys, we gotta help with our feet. When we help with our feet in goal, it looks really good. When we swipe and we help with our hands, it doesn't look very good. Okay, goal is a team concept defense. Guys on the ball, you gotta guard your yard. You gotta do your part. You gotta do your part. Don't let them blow by you. Mondre, Daniel, don't let your guy blow by you. Derek, Jerry, hey. We can't have guys blowing by us. We're blowing. Have fun. Seriously. Seniors. We're, 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 you're like, you're talking about the, the, uh, the twilight of your high school careers here, okay? Play as hard as you can. You got two months left, or seven weeks. Seven weeks. So leave everything, don't have no regrets. When you look yourself in the mirror, no regrets, okay? Yes, sir. And the best thing about it, though, we just don't let them build. We just don't let them build, okay? Everybody, hey, I'm not really going to talk too much in here because I know we're tired, okay? Just be ready. It's going to be some pressure looks coming. Okay? That's where pressure really starts to separate you. Hey, Daniel, you got to have, you call some street points right there. You got to have, hey, hands up early every single time, okay? Every, I didn't pull you because you're a freshman, but usually what happens when you don't put a hand up? No. Usually you come out immediately, but I gave you a little extra slack, okay? Because you're a freshman. I know you're out there learning. You're out there playing your butt off, okay? Keep your head up, bro. Don't hey. be sad. Mm -hmm. hey, you gotta take care of it, okay? You gotta take care of it. Hey, hey well, one thing we do gotta be aware of that I noticed, because I'm telling us to swipe, but we also gotta be basketball players. Y'all see how big the floor is? Yeah. What happened about the first four possessions is we had a guy here and a guy here, and we're trying to get the triangle, <laughs> right? But we stepped way too far out of position, and they just slipped behind us, okay? So, hey, where our butt gotta be? Oh, oh, Every single time. Every single time you keep your butt on the house, ain't nobody gonna be able to slip behind you because you'll see both. You know what I mean? 
Everybody good? And when they're doing them handoffs, make sure y'all uh, get somebody a gap. That's why they're getting downhill. Yeah, yeah. Daniel, you know how to give somebody a gap? Oh, hey, get through, Daniel, get through, get through. Now my butt is still on the house, okay? I'm inside the pack line, and then you can guard the ball, okay? They can Sometimes you got to just trust the process. You get more Sometimes you got to just trust that like stuff is just going to work itself out. Okay? We, we don't always got to go and make 15 adjustments at halftime to change what we're doing. Sometimes we just got to play a little bit harder. We, we dug in, we played a little bit harder, made a couple shots. Hey, sometimes it's simple as some shots fall for this guy and for this guy. Now, next thing you know, we roll. Everybody made it one. Everybody got a little, little piece of the sugar right there, right? Sure. Carmani, career high right there. That's what we need it. Hey. Hey, it's amazing. It's amazing what happens when we get in the gym and shoot, right? Yes, sir. What happens in the game? We make shots. We've been getting nip shots all year, right? Yes, sir. Hey, we've been in this week. We've been putting in our time. We've been putting our time. He shot the lights out last night in the sophomore game. He shot really well again tonight. Hey, hey, it happens. It happens. Trey, what'd you have? I called him. Yeah, like, I said I feel a big game coming from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I said, I said. Hey, second half. Said, second half. Listen up. The second half. Where did it start? On defense. On defense. You guys allowed ten. And they only had five with like a minute and a half to go. So where to start? Defense. Defense. All right, that's what got us going. Yeah, yeah. All right, keep that mentality right there. Let's just keep the same momentum rolling in tomorrow. We're going to the second round. Let's get to the championship round and let's keep doing our thing.